one. All right, guys, six, thanks for tuning in to my latest five, racing video. Today four, we are racing a Southport three, Radio Control Car seven, Club. This is a club day with a bit of a difference. It's a free race final. So there's three final races and the last final race is reverse grid. All looks like it's going great. And then that happens. So let's jump straight to qualifying and see how we got on. So Mike Kirby pretty much laying down the gauntlet from the start. He was quickest. Steve second, Adrian third, Will was fourth, Andy fifth. Me six and Lee at the back of the pack in seven. So it's going to be a close battle between me and Lee. So see where we can end up in the final. In qualifying two, Mike Kirby dominating again. Agent Speed jumped up to second. I got a good result running third. Will was fourth. Andy was fifth. Alex, Steve was sixth and Lee was seventh. On this day, I was I was um, giving Turbo a go. Feel like I'm getting comfortable with the car. So I had Turbo on from the get go. Very much a drive track, dry track. But yeah, it's all about getting used to that turbo. So in qualifying round three, Mike Kirby again, Agent Speed second again, Steve Compton got up to third, Andy Hall was fourth, Will was fifth, Lee was sixth. I had my worst result and dropped down to seven. So not a great result in qualifying round three, but it's the best two rounds that count, I think. So on to the final rounds of qualifying Mike Kirby. Dominate again, Will jumped up to second, Steve Compton third, Lee got a good result in fourth, Agent Speed dropped down to fifth, Andy Hall sixth, and me at the back of the pack in seventh. So on to the finals next, this is the C final two wheel drive, let's see how we get on. And here we go boys, I don't know how, but we managed to stick it on pole in the C final, so I'm sitting at the front of the pack, Andy Hall behind, Tom Clark in third, Lee fourth, Martin fifth, Ethan, a young Southport driver in sixth, and Michael, who's new to racing, back of the pack in seventh. So, yeah, three round final. Let's do this, boys. So, a couple of cars nudging forward. Wait for the buzzer. And off we go into that first corner. I give it a bit too much beans. That gives Andy, Andy Hall the lead. Ethan Burn, full start. That's Tom behind with a kind of like German coloured car. I'm not sure. It looks awesome though. So yeah, I'm down to third. That's Lee behind with the blue and red car. So yeah, take a couple of corners to get up to speed. It's always difficult when you're in close proximity to other races. And we go get lap one ticked off. So Andy Holds leading it. Tom Clark second me down to third. You can see that boost kicking in at the end of the straight. This tabletop is very difficult because you don't get the run up that you usually get but whoever designed this track at Southport did an awesome job Tom gets it wrong not sure what happened there but that knocks me up to second see how long we can keep it up Let's try and close down Andy Hall very quick consistent driver oh I get it wrong on that corner very tricky corner that gives Lee that, um, that position but yeah that, that's not the that's not the only time that corner catches me out. So I'm down to third. Oh, oh nearly get it wrong. Land on our wheels. So that's Tom closing me down. See if we can get a good move in. Waiting for a gap. Oh, we come together. Oh, boys. So no one gets an advantage, so that's fair enough. If anything, Tom gets a bit of disadvantage getting stuck behind the marshal. Yep. First two guys are pretty much run away with it now. Got to reel them in. So Andy Hall's leading it. Lee second. Me third. Tom Clark fourth. Michael up to fifth. Ethan sixth. And Martin Lee. Oh, swaps the position. Now he's in sixth and Michael drops down to seventh. Okay, a couple of cars getting it wrong on the tabletop there. See Lee just making it onto the straight now. Andy Hall's well off in the lead. Drives well under pressure. Andy Hall first. Order. I get it wrong Two, on the tabletop. Three, Luckily, three, we land on our wheels. Four, one, three, six, five, seven. So Andy Hall's leading it. Lee looks like he's had an incident. Gives me the position back by the looks of it. Yep. Qu quick little car. Lee's running a Schumacher LD2. And we go up to second. See if we can keep it clean. This tricky part of the track. like this section if you get a nice line you can really carry some speed through there like that back section looks like it's been um it's moving down oh i get it wrong luckily we landed our wheels oh, Sorry, come together tom. with tom 
elbows out, you're not rubbing, you're not racing. So that might not be down to fourth. Oh. See if we can get it back. Oh, lovely move. I'm not sure if we had contact there, but very much a do or die moment on that tabletop. Andy Hall's lapping cars. Try and pull away from Tom. Try and re reel Lee in just as he makes a mistake. Oh, Tom makes a mistake as well. Oh, Tom's getting um, hung out to drive by the marshals there. Oh. Round we go, so we're up into second. Andy Hall just in the top right hand corner, just going through there. You'll probably see him come down the straight. There goes Andy Hall, that black one there. So, yeah, a bit of a gap. Lee's closing me down. Try and keep it clean. Gives the position back again. That tabletop's catching a lot of people out. The running order at four minutes is two, one, four, six, five, three, seven. So we've got a minute left to go. One one of the changes I made after this race, the rear toe, I decreased it. Because when I'm paying, laying the power down and when I'm braking, you can see the cars kind of skidding out. So I reduced the toe on the rear. I also need to make some adjustments to the shocks because you can't really see it in these clips. But when you're caught watching the car go round, you can see the front end bouncing. It's not it's taking the corners as well as like, but yeah, at least closing me down. I feel a bit threatened. Yeah, he's closed me down one more lap in it. Oh, he gets it wrong. Gives me a bit of breathing room. Luckily he gets a quick recovery. Yeah, he's, on, he's flying now, boys. I'm kind of pacing myself, don't want to make any mistakes. There we go, just got to bring it home. Seven, two, Countdown to disaster. Three. Ah, yeah, <laughs> digger. Oh, Four. lose it. I did yeah, give it away indeed, my friend. Awesome racing, that though. It's always good when you're close racing with your buddies. And there you go guys, it just goes to show it's not over till the fat lady sings. She definitely broke into chorus just as I went into that corner. But yeah, absolutely terrible. Andy Hall won it though. Lee second, me a close third. Ethan, good result, got himself up to fourth. Martin fifth. Tom Clark had a killer last section of that race, dropped down to six. And Michael at the back of the pack in seven. So we're going to jump straight into race two. Hopefully we can have a better result. So here we go guys, expect Tom Clark to be on a bit of a charge. I'm starting on the top left. See if we can get into that first corner without incident. Off we go. Still run a little bit wide. Oh, catch the cladding luckily. Lady looks shining the light down as we get up to third. So we haven't lost too many positions. That Tom and Andy out in front. Tom's made up a lot of places. Hopefully he can keep hold of it. I thought worried there I was going to go into the back of Tom, so I slammed the brakes on around the corner. Get lap one underway. And the hole keeping a good distance. I get it a bit wrong on the lead up to the tabletop. That's Lee behind. Tom's going a bit slow. Managed to close down. Lee's gone off. And the hole keeping it consistent, keeping it clean. Drawing them back in now. This tricky corner. That turbo kicking in nicely. Ah, oh. oh, boys. Marshall wasn't looking after me in that corner. And we've got that tricky tabletop. So I've just put an order in for Model Sport to get a slightly thinner oils. Currently running 350 in the front, 300 in the rear, and I just want to soften the front up a little bit. So round we go. Tom Clark's now leading it. Andy Hall second, me and third. Andy Hall gets a bit untidy, gets me out of shape. Tom Clark's running away with it. See if I can reel Andy Hall in.
grip's starting to come up in the track now. We're getting a bit of nice weather. Had a bit of a um, lot, of, lot of April showers lately. Can't get it right, tabletop yet. Nice transition. And the hole's still keeping his distance, so. Not sure where Lee is, Lee, that's Lee behind. He's going around that corner there, I think. And the hole's pulling away a little bit. Every time I look at Andy Hall's car, it looks like it's set up lovely. It just looks lovely to drive. But them um, Hornet, Hornet Tamiya Hornet stickers on it. It's a bit of a Tamiya fanboy. And we go, as we all are, grew up with Tamiya's. It's what got us into the hobby. Ah, oh, traction roll. Might start calming it down a little bit now, just to try and keep it consistent. That's Lee closing me down. Coming up to the three minute mark. I'll oh, get it wrong again. The trick is with turbo, you you know it's gonna kick in if you're full throttle, so you've just gotta be more, a bit more um, conservative with your throttle. Know where your finger is and just go like, you know, like 78% throttle around corners or in certain parts of the track or the boost is just gonna kick in. The turbo is just gonna kick in, sorry, and just send you off the track, so yeah. Oh, just as Andy Hall gets it wrong, I make a mistake. That's Alex recovering me. Cheers, Alex. Looks like um, Lee's dropped back a little bit. That's Lee going over the tabletop. It's coming up to the three and a half mark. That's Tom going down the straight there. So he's got a big advantage over Andy. He's turned his car up to 11, bad looks of it. Tom Clark. On we go. Andy Hall's lost a bit of time. I go a bit deep. That's Lee getting it wrong on the tabletop. Such a tricky, such a tricky layout, this track. Ah, oh, that's Lee. Lee takes the position back. All it takes is one mistake. So now I'm on a charge and I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time on, that, on this corner coming up. Yeah, so we reduced the toe on the rear because I felt like um, accelerating out of that corner onto the straight. The car was just like bucking, it was fighting, it was kicking left and right very, very slightly, but it's just like, right, I just need to dial it out a little bit. So hopefully, um, once again, the oils from Motorsport might have be a bit more, get a bit more steering on it. I'm not sure who that is. It's back marker there to back marker, so I'm closing right down in on Lee now. Some good close driving. Oh, trying to go for the undercut. Oh, he can run wide, gets out of shape, gives me the position back. This is the last lap by the looks of it. Oh, he gets it wrong, gives it too much beans. Here goes the buzzer, boys. I'm happy with that result. A good bit of racing, that. I enjoyed that. Very enjoyable day at Southport as always. And here we go, our results from final round two. And Tom Clark won it, Andy Hall second, me third, Martin fourth, Lee fifth, Ethan sixth, and Michael making up the back of the pack down in seventh. I expect Michael to climb up a bit once he gets the grip through the car, but an awesome run by Tom there. Look how close his best 10 and his best lap is. Super consistent. Okay, driver, remember we are good. Yeah guys, it's a reverse grid and I must admit fatigue was starting to set in. I meant to pick battery pack 2 and I actually put battery pack 3 into the car so you know what's going to happen. But there we go, start at the back of the grid. Watch this race for some awesome close racing. So yeah, new guy out there in front, he's basically just letting everyone through. See if we can pull off some positions. That back mark is still laying in the tricks of the track so he's um, fell back a bit take up another position and there we go my battery is gonna hit low voltage cut off any minute Sorry. Yeah. so there we go it's starting to die dead. Here we go boys. 
I'm out. I'm pulling off. I'll let them all go up this time. Yeah, my battery's flat. Yeah. So yeah, let's um, pick up the leaders. Lee's in the lead. Tom's second. Michael's third. Andy Hall's in fourth. So then he, I'm just pulling off the track. But we'll pick up the leaders and watch some um, some great racing. There we go, there's Andy Hall. So we're kind of like picking up. Not sure where Tom Clark is and Lee. There's Tom Clark in the top hand pitch side of the corner. There we go, we pick him up. That's Lee in front. Gets a bit out of shape into the right hander. It's tricky. Magic Mountain catching a lot of people out. Oh, not sure if Lee got a tap there. Tom's got to win this to kind of like win the overall championship, I believe. Both Lee and Tom have got a chance of winning this because Lee was second in one of his races. So if he gets a win. He's got it in the bag. Tom's keeping up with him now. He's trying to be consistent. Don't want to throw it down the inside and both lose out. Lee gets a bit out of shape. Tom Chai goes for the undercut and he pulls it off beautifully. Round we go. See if you can pull out the gap now. He's coming up to the three minute mark. I was gutted that I fell out of this race. Oh, a lovely move there from Lee. He runs a little bit wide on the exit. Both these cars are Schumachers, I believe. I think Tom's running the Schumacher. And Lee's got a Schumacher LD2. But Lee's keeping his ground, though. No. Might be coming up on the back mark. I'm not sure who that is in front. Yeah, it gets out of shape. Oh, he hits a back marker. Lee manages to go for the gap, but he rolls. So Lee gets the position back. I think Tom's car definitely looks smoother. Orange and white and black body with black wheels. Coming up and back markers, blue car lets him through. Tom gets it wrong. Luckily he lands on his wheels. Lee's got a bit of a gap now. Expect Tom to charge through, just coming up to the four minute mark. Seems like it sounds like Andy's got a problem. See if Tom can reel, reel them in in this last minute of the race. Oh, Lee gets it wrong. Cuts in a bit too early on the corner. It's easier to follow a car than it is to lead a car. You're able to use the other car in front for your braking point. Just brake that a little bit slower. It's always tricky when you've got someone Closing you down. Not sure if they had a tussle there. This might be the last few corners. Tom with these quick might get another lap in. Oh, just on the mark. Yeah, boys. Great bit of racing. Well done, the top three. Another great day at Southport, very much like the way they're using this hosing now. Come, come up with a lot more interesting track designs. Really utilise the shape of the track. Now we go. There we go guys, on to the final results. So there we go, consistent run by Tom there, giving the win. Lee, a close second, Andy Hall third, Ethan impressive fourth. Martin 5th, Michael 6th and me at the back of the pack in 7th. 
talk to you on to the overall championship results for the day. And here we go, results for the day. You've got to be in it to win it. And today was Tom Clark's day. So Tom, Cl Tom Clark got the win. Andy's second. Lee was third. I dropped down to fourth. Ethan fifth. Martin sixth. And Michael seventh. Just goes to show, boys, it's not over till the fat lady sings. And as always, thanks very much for tuning in. I shall see you at the next one. Oh, yeah.